But this is my guy who taught me everything, who, who put the fear in pride and held me accountable and got in my butt and made me apologize when I was wrong and made me do what was right. And held me accountable on every darn thing from school to working out to doing every darn thing. Coach Mickey Andrews, Coach, I want you to say a few words. Do what you want. Y'all tighten it down a little bit, guys. I don't want him to yell. <laughs> he can do that real good. <laughs> How do you get there? How do you get there? What kind of work are you talking about? Hard work. Harder than that? Yeah, there's a lot of things that build that determine success. And the coach is a prime example of it. Biggest part you want to. When you line up on that ball, there's 11 on offense and 11 on defense. Is it the best wide receiver that wins? Or the best linebacker? It's the best 11, right? Your want to has got to be big enough, good enough to win that play. If you don't have 11 one on one, win, he ain't never going to be great. He never got there by depending on somebody else, but he was always dependable for somebody else. You want to use your gas pedal for effort. If I want it more than my opponent does, I'm talking about individually, and then collectively, I'll get there. We'll get there. So you go out, I don't know what kind of goals y'all got. And I think this was after you got there. We had a little deal with our players one spring that we said we're gonna get 2% better every day. 2%, man, that's tough. But you know what we related that to? That's what it's gonna to take to win a national championship. We went out every day. We'd come in, have our meetings, and we'd write down, have them write down, how, how much did you approve today? Two percent. You don't try it. Some guys had one percent. You know what they had to do the next practice? They had to get three percent just to get back on target. But you know your biggest, your absolute biggest enemy, yeah. and the thing that's going get you there or keep you from getting there? Yourself. Our goal at Florida State, number one, was don't beat yourself. That's the first step to winning. We had a little old drill at every, our defensive back. He didn't have to do that very much. But every time a defensive back got beat deep, he got over there on the side and he bear crawled 40 yards. Is that punishment? No, we, we just want to go get beat too. They didn't make them go over there and do a bear crawl. They did. They did it to themselves. But you're developing dependability. And accountability's got to go with it. I hear them talking about being accountable. Yeah, you ain't never going to get there unless you've got accountability. I'm talking about from each individual player and from each coach. Can't leave them out now when you talk about accountability. Did I approve 2% of that? Well, they've lowered it. Anyway, after 20 days, we had guys that were almost half better than they were going in. They're 40% better. And so we never had done it before, but I said, we got 29 practice opportunities in the fall. Why can't we go? Why can't we do that in the fall? 20 of them. You know, it's hard to improve just in short. It's like you are right here. You improve mentally. And you improve your execution and your technique. But you still, you play, still play like you got pads on. Everything that you do is either pushing you to victory or to keep holding you back. If 
here's what I did, what we did. Here's what we judged it by. When you came off practice there, I wanted each one of them to, to do this. Could we, could we have beaten Miami or beaten Florida the way I practiced today? If you'll ask yourself, Southern and who? Samuel. Samuel. Samuel, first of all. Samuel, correct. If you're out here, every practice opportunity, what, you got about 10 days left? Pretty much. Pretty much. <coughs> you ask yourself that. Did I have my team win today? Or am I a problem for them? If every one of you do that, we got 110 maybe? You, you just, you can't imagine how, how, how much that will make you improve the team. It will allow you to. But what you do between your ears, there in your heart. You be truthful about that business. How many plays does it, can you get beat on in a game? You can do it in one play. You don't know when that play's coming. That's why you got to play every play like that's the most important play you'll play all day. Well, how are you going to do it on Saturday if you can't do it during the week in your preparation? Playing's easy. Preparing's hard. So it requires discipline, requires effort, requires togetherness, requires accountability. But I'm going to tell you this, it's just like we used to on our goal line defense. We are pretty good on the goal line. Because every one of our players believed it. The offense wasn't getting in. We weren't going to let them. The offense didn't decide if they scored, the defense did. Now how bad do you want to beat them on that play? So everything you heard from me now is really stuff I've learned from him working with him in four years. I learned, I promise you, I learned more from our players than I did from our coaches. You're responsible for one person, but that one person is responsible for Jackson State University. care if you're a starter or if you're a backup. Be the best backup you can be and one day you'll be a starter. We don't ever get satisfied with how good you are. If you didn't get better today, you ain't building for the future. I guarantee you, fam, you're getting ready. Some of them have them ready now. You just got to convince them y'all want more, okay? Anybody got any questions? Let's do this, right, fellas. Break it down on 81. And let's get, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Break it down and get to it full speed. We've got both groups going in both times, 707. Both groups. Hey, family on me, family on three. One, two, three. Let's get it, man. You're walking line. You're walking line. You're walking line. What's up, man? You're walking line. Come on, come on. 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 Come on